Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. To have your product reviewed, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy Beck again with Dragon Blogger. So I'm going to show you a little bit on how the Alienware Pro mechanical gaming keyboard AW768 works with the Alienware Control Center software. This software controls things like lighting, uh, special macro keys, and a bunch of different features that I'm going to show you a lot of in this video. Now mind you, the keyboard will work without the software, but it's a lot easier to use the software. So after you, down, after you plug in the keyboard, you'll want to go ahead to Alienware's website and download the Alienware Control Center software. Once you've had that installed, you can either open it up by clicking on this guy right up here, or by just hitting function F4, and that's gonna bring up the software. So right when it starts up, you can see here we have all the lighting controls. Okay, it may not mean any, anything to you right now. I'll go ahead and just turn everything off because that is how we have it set. Um, and then, you know, I can do individual zones if I wanna turn zone one red zone one is red and then i can add two three four zone five have everything red or you know i could change it okay but it's not just changing the and i can also change the macro sorry it's not just changing the colors on the keyboard and you're done, they're all one color. You can come over here to the preset animations, click here, and then you can have 10 different animations. So we can click on here on polling. Then you can change the tempo, make it pull a little bit quicker. You could do two colors. Mind you, these are the two colors that they have here, but you can change it to whatever color you'd like, or you can just put it on rainbow. So it goes through all 16.8 million colors. You can then come over here and select breathing. Again, one color breathing. any color you'd like, two color breathing, any color you'd like. So I'll just click here and maybe change it up here. Okay, so then I can also select morphing. Spectrum. raindrops arrow fireworks it's pretty cool how it blows up in different sections of the keyboard scanner x-ray And rainbow, this is the one I prefer. Just kind of relaxing the way it scrolls through the rainbow. Or, you know, just bump it up all the way. And then we can jump over to macros. Mostly that's going to be what these keys are here. Let me go ahead and move down a little tiny bit so you can see the other key there. Okay, now for example, I'm going to go ahead and hit plus if I want to add a different one other than cut, paste, copy, cop, close window, undo, show desktop, new tab and browser, previous tab and browser. So I'll go ahead and click here and then I'll hit record.
and then I'll hit stop and now I have to assign that so I'm just gonna click hold and drag this macro let's to do it to number five over here now when you're over it it'll kind of select it with a square around it so I'll drop it right here now you can see I have macro 5 with that so I can just open up notepad and let's go ahead and clear what that has here and let's go ahead and hit F5 alright so simple you know nothing big but of course you can make a macro for your game if you just want to cast a spell uh, enter a secret code or you know pretty much anything that you would use macro fours so that's pretty cool or macros four and then you can individually assign different uh, mappings so if you don't want Q to be Q you can make Q V and you know all along over here so that's pretty cool under settings we have Alienware head, bu head button function this button over here let me zoom in for you okay so the alien head right over here it can either toggle the keyboard lighting on or off or toggle game mode on or off and then over here you can decide what game mode actually does it could lock the windows key it can click over here it can lock the win key lock the left shift key lock the tab key lock any key lock application tray oh, I'm sorry lock application key and it's not just one key it's you can add a bunch to it so just wanted to show you how that worked you can set a sleep timer right over here and then you can change the polling delay and then you can do the key selection method standard key grouping or zones the Alienware control center software also allows you to control the mouse you don't need to install a separate application you can see my mouse right over here okay so you don't need a separate application so if you have both installed and you downloaded this one single control center it's going to control or can control the keyboard and the mouse this little light right over here is not coming from the mouse it's coming from the keyboard it's some of the ambient light so let me show you some of the hard keys on the keyboard so one sec all right so function f1 disables the windows key function f2 is blank function f3 goes through the different uh, profiles okay function f4 i've already shown you brings up the Alienware Control Center, so let's go ahead and close that. All right, so function F5 controls the brightness of the keys. F6 raises the brightness of the keys, so F5 lowers the brightness. F6 raises the brightness. And then right over here, F7, lowers the ambient light F8 raises the ambient light function F9 10 11 and 12 are for multimedia functions on the keyboard okay the alien head has a bunch of different options but the default one is to Turn on or off the lighting. Then there is a little slider here to raise or lower the volume, which I like a lot. Uh, better than actually hitting F and another key to raise and lower the volume. And then the button right next to it, right over here, will mute the volume. All right, so over here. You can go through each of the five macro keys if you didn't like to actually hit the individual macro keys or you can just hit the individual macro keys and that'll take you to each of their individual macro functions. So that's about it for now. Uh, this was just basics on how to use the Alienware Control Center and some of the functions and features on the keyboard itself. 
And you'll see more on the keyboard review itself on dragonblogger.com. This is Iggy with Dragon Blogger, again showing you some of the functions on the Alienware Pro Mechanical Gaming Keyboard AW768. Iggy with Dragon Blogger out. See you guys. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.